The U.S. Federal Reserve is keeping its interest rates unchanged, emphasizing its economy is strong, hinting at a hike in September. When that happens, how will Seoul be affected and what can the nation do to be best prepared for the inevitable? Our Koryu need turn to some experts for their analysis. As expected, the Fed kept its benchmark rates unchanged at a range of one and three quarters to two percent, boosting expectations that it will raise rates in September. This means the Korean economy have until next month to adjust to the changes. A local expert says it's highly likely that the Bank of Korea will keep its own key interest rate unchanged later this month on August 31st. If the Federal Reserve raised today, then the Bank of Korea should have raised another quarter percentage point, but uh, the Federal Reserve decided to postpone until September. So I think the Bank of Korea has earned another one month or taking breath. Another expert added that this extra time is important because Fed's rate hike could not only cause capital flight from Korea, but could also negatively affect the country's exports. If the Fed raises rates, financial markets and emerging economies tend to get shaken up, as seen in the first half this year. And since Korea relies heavily on exports, it could affect Korea's real economy. An advanced estimate of GDP for the second quarter released last Friday showed that the U.S. economy is growing at an annual rate of 4.1 percent, the fastest rate in nearly four years. The BOK kept its rate steady for the eighth straight month in July at 1.5 percent. At present, the U.S. benchmark rate is 0.5 percentage points higher than that of Korea's. Korunhee, Arirang News.